All right, what's up YouTube? Today, I'm going to do an oil change on my 2013 Chevy Malibu LS with 2.5 liter motor. Um, it's gonna be super simple, straightforward, easy to do. Uh, yeah, if you normally get your oil changed elsewhere, this is a great way to save some money. Walmart wanted like uh, 50 bucks to do a full synthetic oil change. So it only costs about $30 to get the oil and the oil filter at AutoZone. And it only take about half an hour to get this job done. So I'll see you guys underneath the car. All right, so we got the car jacked up off the ground. And uh, hopefully you guys can make this out here. Um, don't know if the camera will focus, but there is the oil pan right here. And then there is the oil pan drain bolt. And on the 2013 Chevy Malibu, I'll be using a 15 millimeter socket. And uh, yeah, once we once we uh, get this drained, we're also going to pull off the oil filter, which is right here. And when you take this off, make sure that you have your uh, oil bucket or what I usually use is just a uh, cheap bucket from the Dollar Tree for a dollar and um, I pull that off and I drop it right in and any excess oil will also be coming out of that. So let's uh, get to Now when you put this uh, little pan here, you're gonna wanna put it somewhat back and not directly under because the oil is going to spew out like a fountain at first, so. Let's see if I can do this without getting a bunch of oil all over me. There we go. All right, now set your drain bolt aside somewhere especially where you won't misplace it and lose it. A few moments later. All right, now, as this is slowly coming out, I'm going to get the uh, oil filter pulled off here, and I'll show you the bucket that I'm talking about. Let's see here. So you could buy this bucket at a Dollar Tree. It's only a buck and it works perfect for your oil filter. So that way you don't get oil splashed everywhere. And you can leave your uh, oil drain pan underneath the oil pan. So this should be able to come off by hand. It might be a little bit snug. Ugh. There you go. Now sometimes these are pretty wrenched on here and you may have to use a oil filter removal tool or a uh, uh, sometimes even a screwdriver. There's been uh, times before where I had to get a screwdriver before here because I couldn't get it undone without um, denting all these uh, indentations here and making it flat, so. So luckily this is, every time I do my oil change, I just tighten it. Um, pretty tight with my hand I don't uh, over tighten it because then it, it could lead to issues with getting it off here we go and now that part is done we'll let that drain for a few moments here and I'm gonna clean my fingers off with the rag We've got the uh, new oil filter here, and we're gonna take this plastic wrap off. Now, now that we have this unwrapped, I am going to take our new fully synthetic high mileage uh, motor oil and I'm gonna pour some into the oil filter. Let's 
So what this will do is this will get the oil filter uh, wet with oil so that way when you run your vehicle there is already oil in the filter. And as you can see the air bubbling, I don't know if you can see it, maybe not, but um, we're going to fill this all the way up right about there and also I'm going to take my clean finger wipe my finger off here I'm gonna take some oil and I'm gonna rub it on this rubber gasket get that nice and covered with some oil so that way uh, the rubber doesn't become brittle or worn um, which it shouldn't in its own life but just to be safe okay Make sure you put your lid back on your uh, the oil. We're gonna take this here. We're gonna move our uh, move my bucket out of the way. We're gonna take this and put it up back where the oil filter should go. Now, what I normally do is instead of just threading the oil filter on right away, I go backwards and I wait for a click. There we go. And when you do that, it makes you, you'll make sure that um, you're not threading it on wrong. Uh, in this way, uh, you have it on right and if you ever need to be sure before you thread it too much you can see here that it's on track real well um, and we're gonna twist this and hand tighten it as much as we can now if your hands still uh, oily take a rag clean all this off here And all right, that should be on there pretty good. Now, what I'm also gonna do is, as you can see, uh, there's still a little bit of old oil coming out. So I'm gonna go back up top here and I'm gonna take a cheap quart of oil and pour it in and try and flush all that old oil out. All right, so I only used about half a quart of oil and as you can see, um, it's pushing out some of that real old oil um, and this is optional you don't have to do this I do this just because uh, it's um, it's gonna make sure that I get as much fresh oil as I can in the uh, the motor so we're gonna let that continue to drain and as you can see it's still uh, still pretty dirty in there so that'll get a lot of that out that'll flush a lot of uh, that old oil out now as we wait for the oil to drain make sure you put down in the comments below if you've ever done your own oil and how old you were when you changed your oil for the first time um, again this is a super great way to get more familiar with your car save money and also know exactly what is being done to your vehicle I've uh, had past experiences myself and with friends um, that have gone to places and got their oil changed and actually didn't get their oil changed at all so definitely definitely do this um, if you got the time uh, because you know it's really easy really simple it took me about a whole five minutes um, to get everything where it should be and the longest part is just waiting for the oil to actually drain So as we can see here, um, there is still oil draining out of there. Uh, I did jack the car down uh, so that way the car is level with the ground so all the excess oil will come out. You can do this if you want. If not, not a big deal, um, but I did it anyway. So as soon as this is done draining, uh, we'll be back. All right, so 
the oil is done draining and I've got my uh, oil drain plug and I've cleaned it off real well with a rag to make sure that there's no debris on it when we go to put this back in so we're going to hand tighten this as much as we can move our drain pan out of the way grab your rag and clean off any excess oil so you don't get a bunch of oil on your driveway or wherever you're doing this job That's all tightened um, and now that the uh, drain plug is back in and I've tightened this hand tight as much as I can to avoid any any pesky leaks I'm gonna fill it up okay so we've got our funnel make sure your funnel is clean on the inside and out Now this motor calls for exactly five quarts of oil, which is just one of these. So we're gonna pour this all the way in here. Right, now that that's empty, I'm going to take the cap and make sure that you get anything off here. I always wipe it down before I put it in. That's what she said. <laughs> clean it off real well. Nice and clean. I'm going to go ahead and put this back on. And that is the oil change. All right, so that wraps up the oil change. Um, also, with your old oil, all you have to do is pour it in this, uh, in this em now empty jug, and in most cases, your local auto parts store like uh, AutoZone and Advanced Auto Parts and O'Reilly's, they'll take this old oil right off your hands for you. So, thanks for uh, tuning in and watching this video. Uh, <clears throat> there's a bunch of videos to come here on uh, this Malibu. I put in these lights a while ago, and. They, um, they need replaced, but uh, yeah, there's more videos to come. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.